I'm making a video. Okay. Hey. Hey, buddy, it's out. And I made my own uh, juice. I used this, root beer flavor, and this from Walmart. I contacted a friend of mine who's a very good juice maker named Johnny Joe. And he says it's going to taste like S. We're going to see. That's, I, that's, my wife agrees with Johnny Joe. Smells awesome. Smells like root beer. Get in that cotton. Now, because the flavoring was VG, vegetable glycol, ricerin, whatever it is, um, and this is food grade propylene glycol glycerin stuff. Um, I tried to do a 2575 mix. This is going to be so bad. All right, y'all. Hmm? It is not half bad, Dana. It is not half bad. I haven't let it steep. I haven't let it steep or nothing. Holy mackerel. You can do this, too. I'm still going to be buying juice. But this turned out better than I thought it was going to. I'm completely shocked. So I put about 25% of the flavoring in there of the Watkins root beer flavor. And then I put 75% of this. Wow, I did it. And you could do it too. It's so easy. Uh, luckily I had a few glass bottles left over from some of my other juices. And basically this cost me three bucks or something like that, 350. This cost me about three fifty, so it's about six or seven bucks. And um, wow, I'm pretty proud of myself. I am. But this is with no nicotine in it, and I didn't, uh, and I don't plan on adding any nicotine to it, um, because I'm going to quit smoking one way or the other, and that means getting nicotine out. Um, this will be my chill vape, and I guess I'll just have to buy someone else's nicotine vape. What's up?